no offense to all the beautiful people in Beverly Hills, but one of the reasons they're all beautiful <laughs> is because they have tons and tons of plastic surgery. When I was out there for Dancing with the Stars, I think I was the shortest and roundest person there. And roundest, of course, is a <laughs> euphemism. I walked down like, who are all these people? Then I started noticing a lot of them looked alike. They must have had the same surgeon. But I bet you have a lot of issues. I know you're not going to comment with your clients. Okay, plastic surgery, fine, have it. I'd just be mad if you didn't. But this is extreme, Dr. Bethany, to go to another country. Why are they so desperate to go? And it seems to be sugar-coated, you know, this plastic surgery tourism business. Well, I think that there's, uh, there's almost like a gambling mentality. You know, I'm going to get something for nothing or, or for very little. And because of that, I'm not going to pay attention to the facts, um, whether or not this person is board certified, whether or not there are medical standards. There's al almost this magical belief that everything will turn out okay. And they invest authority in doctors. Um, as if because you're wearing, it's like the white coat phenomena, just you know, because you have a white coat, you must know what you're doing. And I tell my patients, you know, there's no such thing as a free lunch. There really isn't. You're going to pay one way or, or another. So if it's a $15,000 surgery here and you're going to pay $5,000 there, you're going to pay. I don't know how you're going to pay, but you're going to pay. You may pay with your life. You may pay with the fact that you have a botched surgery. You may pay in, in another way, and, and that is that there's no medical malpractice in most of these countries, like Mexico. Here in the States, there's recourse. 